Hi, so welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about periodic and nominal interest rate for compound interest. Uh, here's the formula. Before we begin with this formula and this question, I just want to quickly go over the, the formula and how we got here. Right? So to do that, let's just quickly go over it. Uh, we know that future value is equal to present value into 1 plus i to the power of n. Now, our whole, goal, our whole goal is to isolate i so that we can solve for it, which is our interest rate. So the first thing we do here is divide both sides by present value. So therefore, we have future value divided by present value is equal to 1 plus i to the power of n. Now, the second part is to get rid of this power of n. In order to do that, what we can do is take the nth root of whatever the item is, and we can also write the nth root as 1 over n, right? So, so what we get is 1 plus i, 1 plus i to the power of n multiplied by 1 over n. It's the same thing as the nth root. So that and that is gone, right? So you're left with 1. So technically, there's just 1 here because there's a 1 here, and that, that and that is gone, so you're just left with 1. And then since we do the nth root on one side, we have to do it on the other side. So it's done here, so we have to do it on this side as well. So therefore, we will have future value divided by present value to the power of 1 over n. Now, it's very easy now. So it's future value divided by present value to the power of 1 over n is equal to 1 plus i. Now, the only thing we have to do is in order to isolate i is just subtract by 1 on each side. Right, so it's future value over present value minus, oops, to the power of 1 over n minus 1 is equal to 1 plus i minus 1. So 1, 1 is gone. You're left with i is equal to future value over present value to the power of 1 over n minus 1. That equation is exactly the same as this equation. So that's how we get here. Now let's quickly jump into this question that I've prepared. So here it says that Jake invested in a scheme that would triple his money in six years. What nominal rate compounded semi-annually was applied to his scheme, right? So we know with a compounding question or time value of money question, the first thing we do is draw out a quick timeline. So now we don't know exactly how much he invested, but what we do know is that his money tripled in just six years. So he invested zero. And in six years, zero is the time frame, so it's year zero. And at the end of year six, he had, triple, he had tripled his money. So let's say that if he invested $1,000 today, at the end of six years, he would have it as $3,000, right? Now, another thing we know is that the interest rate, the nominal interest rate was being compounded at semi-annually. So we don't know our percentage, right, the interest rate, but what we do know is that it was for six years and the compounding frequency was semi-annually so it's twice a year right so therefore we know that this times this because we'll have to multiply it is going to give us 12 because n is our number of compounding periods and we could also write that as m times t, where m is your compounding frequency and t is your time frame. So if n is equal to m, which is uh, m is which is your compounding frequency, which is 2, multiply that by number of years, which is 6, and we'll get that 12. So n is equal to 12. So now that we've identified that, let's quickly jump into the equation. So i is equal to future value. We know that as 3,000 divided by 1,000 to the power of 1 over 12 minus 1, right? So the first thing first, let's do what's in the brackets. So 3,000 divided by 1,000, so that's 3 to the power of 1 over 12 minus 1. So that is equal to 1, whoops, 1 divided by 12, so that's 3 to the power of 0 0.0083333, right, minus 1. So then we just take 1 divided by 12, which is 0 
0833333 and we're just gonna I'm just gonna store that as one of my numbers and then we just take to the power of so 3 to the power of 0 0.08 which gives us 1.09587269 minus 1 and if we subtract minus 1 from it we get 0 0.09587269 now note that this number is for our nominal no this number is our periodic interest rate right now, in order to change the periodic interest rate into a nominal interest rate, what we need to do is multiply by our compounding frequency, which is two, which is semi-annually. So then, again, I'll just subtract one from here, from that. So we get 9, 0.09, and we multiply that by two, and we get 0 0.19174532. Times that by 100 because it's a percentage, and we get, whoops, we get 19.7453823% compounded semi annually. So that's it. Uh, I really hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below. And do consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.